Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In recent videos on Venture Star, I've tried to increase its capacity by basically creating a Super Venture Star, a much larger version with 24 RS-25s on the tail. And that's somewhat dissatisfying because first of all, it still can only get 40 tons to low Earth orbit. And second of all, it's huge. Uh, but, you know, it can be done, obviously, but there is, of course, another option, and the other option is to add boosters. Now, there's really, I mean, uh, you could put a booster on the top, but that's a little bit icky. We could put it where the shuttle normally had an external tank, for instance, and I've put a AJ-260. Now, is this a good idea? I have no idea. I don't even have any idea if it'll stay balanced. Uh, that is another question, right? Because, well, in theory, uh, this uh, booster's thrust will tail off more or less commensurate with the reduction of mass on this side. And so that would be good, uh, but we'll have to see. So there's the balance thing, and then there's the relative benefit thing. So how much benefit do we get by putting the biggest, dumbest booster we can find on one side? Well. I'm aiming for 40 tons, so doubling the payload capacity of Venture Star. That would be good, obviously. That would be a lot better than 20 tons. So the question is whether we can get that out of this. Uh, 40 tons would be 5% of our launch mass currently, which is not bad. And that, you know, that, that would be satisfying because it uh, deals with a lot of payloads that I would like to put in. So let's take it out to the pad and see if it works. I mean, it's no longer an SSTO, and I didn't actually mean to launch from this pad, but it'll be fine. It's no longer an SSTO, and it's no longer fully reusable, but hopefully the AJ-260, which is currently called the SM-222 solid motor, uh, would be cheapish. Well, it'd certainly be cheaper than making the Super Venture Star, but then again, the Super Venture Star would be completely reusable, so it depends on how you think about the development costs being spread out over a whole bunch of launches and how many launches we would get out of a Super Venture Star. So it's complicated. But let's just test whether it can do 40 tons, first of all. So ignition of the aerospikes, which are still aerospikes. They are the normal aerospikes it's supposed to use, and launch. And we have a balance problem. We have a balance problem. It's got too much thrust on that side. Oh no! Oh no, it's got too much thrust. Maybe the AJ2 uh, the game is just frozen because it's trying to figure out. Oh, it survived, sort of. Um, maybe the AJ260 is too powerful after all. Maybe it's the wrong booster for this. <laughs> Our payload would have been fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, maybe just the five segment booster? Let's try the five segment booster instead. Okay, well, here's a five segment booster on it, and it's long, and we need, we need like a booster sort of in between the two, don't we? We're going from a 6.6 .6 meter booster to a 3.7 meter booster. This only has a little bit less thrust, mind you, so it could still be imbalanced. We might have to go to a four-segment booster, and, well, that'd look better, I guess, but... We'll try this first, and then we'll scale down. It's a little bit sad. We could put boosters on the opposite side to counterbalance it, like put Gem 63s or something. I'm a little bit bummed out that the AJ-260 is not balanced. It would have been nice if it was just right. It wasn't drastically imbalanced, it was just a little bit imbalanced. <laughs> okay, well, how's this gonna go? Mm, throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. Okay, this, this one seems balanced. Let's give it to Smart ASS. I'm using half of the pitch, but... moderate that. Now, the question is whether it stays balanced. That's another thing. Well, it's pretty good right now. 
There is the put a Falcon 9 on the bottom of it option. I have thought of that. You don't need to mention it. Uh, we're getting a little bit iffy on pitch right now. It seems to be... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'll turn RCS on. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Come on, thrust tail off. We need you now. Oh boy. Go! <laughs> My, uh, okay, well, we'll just have to take that. <laughs> uh, um, right. The thrust curve may need to be modified. But we do need to actually get into space. And we need to get into space with enough delta V so that it can come back down again. It's looking pretty good so far. So the positive thing would be, well, we can carry the 40 tons, maybe more, if I got the trajectory a little bit better and we could use up the booster. But we can't use up the booster and it's sort of dangerous. We might need a different booster. Or we just need to counterbalance it, I don't know. The problem is... Uh, the Venture Star gimbal isn't, I don't think, that great. If it, we had RS-25s on this side with their wide gimbal range, it would have been better. Okay, and that is orbit, 212 by 167. And we have 230 meters per second left, so we would be able to come back down. But can we do something about the whole SRB not being able to finish properly thing. Well, again, the easy solution would be putting boosters on the opposite side, but let, let's just see how the four segment SRB does. And maybe it would be enough. I don't even know if it'd be beneficial. I mean, it'd still have a lot of thrust at the end, but maybe just not that much. We could also have a pair of some other boosters, but as far as the balance issue, that's not going to make a difference. Okay, how will it go? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Um, well, let's see if this can straighten that out. That's, uh, that's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Why did the SR... I guess this has less gimbling? But that doesn't make, make any sense. I would expect the SLS SRBs to have less gimbling. It certainly has less thrust than the SLS SRBs, so why are you so forceful? Right at the start. Okay, well, we might as well go to the prograde vector now. It's about right. It's almost maxing out the pitch now. I'll add the RCS, but that's not going to do a whole lot. I mean, the thrust is going down, it's just not going fast enough. Not as fast as the weight imbalance. We could tilt the SRB a bit. Oh, it's got a lot of ways to go. We can still get rid of it, but obviously uh, we, we, we did not solve the problem that we were trying to solve, clearly. Um, yeah. We could tilt it, but then drag is going to be a pain. But, I mean, but this mass is just really light is the problem. It's, uh, um, I guess we could have it, yeah, it'd be the other way around. We want to mount this lower <laughs> and tilt it, and then it would be better. I guess we'll try it. But, you know, the SLS SRB seemed to do better. <laughs> uh, I liked its balance better than this one. 
Why don't we just use that instead? That's what that looks like. Okay, will this work? SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. Well, of course it'll have a little bit of a slip there, but it's better than the four segment one for some reason. Don't ask me about the logic, but... And suddenly we're at Cape Canaveral for some reason too. I thought we were out of Tampico. I didn't change the launch site. Again, the trivial solution is just to put SRVs on the opposite side, but they'd have to last long, right? They uh, actually the Gem 63s wouldn't work. Well, we we could use airlit ones. We could airlight them, then maybe it'd work. But okay, the same great. Tilting it didn't seem to do a whole lot anyway. All right, all right, um, fine. I'll, I'll put airlit gem 63s just so that we can do it properly once, <laughs> and and we'll just call it a day. And since we're doing that, we might as well pump up the payload to what I was testing with with the. I think with the Super Venture Star it was 45 tons, so get 45 tons in here too. These are the old KW rocketry models, I think. Okay, whatever seems cool. We'll airlight them, and I don't know which will need to be separated first, but we'll wait on them until after the other one separates. Okay, will this work? Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. Oh, why are those clamps releasing already? Okay, ignition. And launch. <laughs> I don't know about the tilt. Probably we shouldn't have the tilt. Oh, the, the, the weight is too heavy on this side now. Right. It's... <laughs> I'm just curious at this point. Uh, it, might, it might pull itself through. Okay, I'm gonna light the air lip boosters. Oh, things have fallen off. Things have wrecked. Oh, it's all going to pieces. Okay... Um, right, we are adding mass to the opposite side, so there's more imbalance. Maybe if we mount them like this, this is a little bit dodgy, but then doesn't have as much of a beneficial impact. Okay, okay, this is it. All right, no more, no more of this. <laughs> this is this is our last last try with this. Okay, here we go again. SAS on, move those clamps. Ignition. I'll follow up. And launch. Okay, come on, try and hold it, try and hold it. Alright. Seems legit, right? Lots of that pitch authority right now. So. Well, we will reacquire the prograde vector and then that'll ease up. Okay, well, when are we through max Q anyway? Well, we are through max Q. Dynamic pressure going down, so fine. Air light. Still maxing out though. They're not enough. May if, if they were put on this side, they'd be, but they're not enough. 
Aw, oh, come on. Well, they still got like 50 seconds left to them, too. Maybe if we put them a little bit higher. I'm just curious now to see whether they separate cleanly or not, actually. Okay, booster set. They do separate cleanly. But with all those shenanigans, uh, we barely have enough to make orbit right now, it looks like. So we'll see whether we can. Okay, well, yeah, that's not making it. All right, I've had enough of this. Uh, I don't think my heart was in the whole SRB with Venture Star thing. It was an interesting thought, but clearly there's been a critical flaw here. So um, it's helpful with the shuttle stack to have the external tank there to counterbalance things. Uh, otherwise, just having an SRB strapped to the belly is actually not such a good idea. You need the weight over on the SRB side, and this does not have that. So, yeah, basically that is what we've learned. There are probably ways to sort this out, but I, I don't think I need to explore this any further. It could, though, improve our payload capacity, but maybe a different SRB arrangement. Maybe like a whole row of Gem 63s, and then we let them go in turn or something. I don't know. Uh, they'll be closer to the body and it'll be easier to deal with. Uh, we could have four on one side, four on the other, whatever. Anyway, there, there are ways of doing this, but we will leave it here for now. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.